I hope you're having fun celebrating and remembering this amazing day. I'm Allison, and I will be teaching the lesson this week. In the lesson last week during Palm Sunday, we talked about Jesus entering Jerusalem and the excitement that came with him. But you also talked a little bit about Jesus' death and how after death there is light. This week, we will discuss Jesus' death a little more, but mainly focus on his resurrection and the hope and amazement that follows. Before we get too far into our story, let's see what's in the Wonder Box. Can you guess what's in the Wonder Box? It's some Easter eggs. Why do you think there's empty Easter eggs in the Wonder Box? As you will soon learn, when the women went to the tomb, Jesus was not there. Our egg represents Jesus' resurrection. An egg also represents new life and new beginnings. This means that even though Jesus has gone physically, we can share Jesus's message of hope. In today's story, we will be discussing both the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. On Good Friday, Judas, one of Jesus's disciples, went to the Roman government in order to help them arrest Jesus. As soon as he was in their custody, he was put on trial for claiming he was the son of the Messiah. He was accused and sentenced to death by crucifixion. He was forced to carry his cross and was beaten and ridiculed until he passed away. Jesus was very strong and brave during this time. Even though everyone around him was making fun of him and calling him names, he was still able to do what God called him to do in order to take away his sin. After Jesus died, he was placed in a tomb and a very heavy boulder was rolled in front of the entrance. Three days after Jesus was killed, two women, Mary and Mary Magdalene, were the first to find the empty tomb. They do not come to cleanse Jesus' body like Mark. They came to see the tomb. Some argue this is because they heard Jesus' teachings about his resurrection and wanted to see if God's promise had been fulfilled. An angel appears. The angel insists that the women participate in faithful followers of Jesus and, procl and proclaim the resurrection message. The women are called to go out and share the good news. But what is this resurrection message? To understand the miracle of resurrection, we can start with wonder and amazement. The women came to the tomb and were surprised, confused, and amazed. They wanted to know all that had happened and where their Lord might be. Resurrection can be like this for us too. We might not always understand, but we can be amazed at all that God can do. There is also the idea of new beginnings. Resurrection can remind us that each new day, there's opportunities to see the goodness and to share the goodness with others. God continues to give us new life, and this is modeled in the story of Jesus' resurrection. Resurrection is a hard topic for many people. However, if we can embrace our wonder about what might have happened, 
how Jesus' followers might have felt, and what this means for our faith, we can begin to explore the story in new and amazing ways. Then we can share it with others. Before we read the Bible verse today, let's get up and move with our song called with our song today called He's Alive by Saddleback Kids.
Hey friends, I'm Samuel. In our story today, two women show up to an empty tomb. Where was Jesus? Oh wait, let me rewind. Three days before this, something really sad happened. Jesus died. His friends, family, and followers were so, so sad because he was no longer with them. After three days, two women went to see the tomb where he was buried. But when they got there, the tomb was empty. An angel appeared to them and said, do not be afraid. This must have been so shocking. They went to see a tomb where Jesus was laying and instead they saw an empty tomb and an angel. The angel told them that Jesus had risen from the dead and they were asked to go share the news. To share means to offer God's blessings to others. Wow, what an awesome job to have. They got to spread something so exciting and good during such a hard time. The woman thought Jesus' death was the end, but they found out it was actually a new beginning and they got to be a part of this new beginning. They got to tell all their friends that Jesus was not dead and they could celebrate. We are invited to share good news too. We can tell others about good things that remind us of Jesus and help us see more of God's work in the world. One of my friends is really good at this. It doesn't matter what is going on. She always has something to share. That makes us feel better. Last week, we had a really tough week at school because one of our favorite teachers left. A lot of us were really sad. We loved this teacher. My friend came in and invited all of us to share our favorite stories about our teacher. She shared a funny story and we were all laughing by the end of it. Sharing good news is a gift. When there's so much bad news around, it can be hard to find things to talk about that are good news. The awesome thing is that there's something special for each of us to share. We can talk about Jesus, his love, and the amazing news the woman received at the tomb. Good news is always worth sharing. Now it's time for you to wonder. Welcome back. Now let's get out our new wonder maps. You may have noticed that there aren't any wonder figures for this new unit. Instead, you're going to write on your wonder map. Go ahead and write a phrase that represents good news to you. My phrase was that I got an A on one of my tests. Go ahead and pause the video now to do that. And when you're finished, press play. Our Bible verse today comes from Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10, and it states, Three days after Jesus was killed, two of Jesus' followers, Mary Magdalene and Mary, went to the tomb where Jesus was buried, or very early in the morning. The followers were too sad to notice. A strong earthquake shook the ground, and the followers saw an angel from heaven. The angel moved the giant stone away from the entrance to the tomb and sat on it. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. Jesus is alive. The angel said, I have come to tell you to go to the rest of Jesus' followers. Tell them that Jesus has risen to life. Mary Magdalene and Mary were excited, scared, and happy to hear the angel. They ran, they ran down the garden path to tell the disciples. Suddenly, the women ran into Jesus. Mary Magdalene and Mary kneeled down to worship Jesus. Jesus said, do not be afraid. Go to the rest of my followers and tell them to meet me in Galilee. Wow, isn't that wonderful? Jesus is alive and he took away all of our sins. I know, let's get out our wonder cubes and answer a couple of questions about today's story. Here's mine. I wonder what characters are in the Bible story? Well, Mary, Mary Magdalene, the angel and Jesus were all in the Bible story. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and roll the Wonder Cube a few times. When you're finished, press play. Hello again. 
Our faith word this week is share, to offer God's blessings to others. Let's wonder together. I wonder, what kinds of things do you share? I like to share my belongings with my friends, like books or pencils or some things like that. Is it hard to share? Why or why not? I think that sometimes it's hard to share because we are selfish at times and want to keep everything for ourselves. But we must rem remember that sharing is important to God and allowing us to be closer to him and his ways. What was shared in today's Bible story? The news of Jesus' resurrection was shared in today's Bible story. Now let's do a fun activity. Butterflies are a great symbol of new life and new beginnings. They remind us of Jesus' resurrection because of this. Butterflies go through a special life cycle and show us that life goes on and on, even when it seems impossible. Today, we get to make our own 3D butterfly. In the newsletter you received, there should be a printout of the butterfly. Go ahead and color it, then cut it out with the help of your parents or guardians. Thank you for joining me for Sunday School this week. Have a happy Easter, and we'll see you next week.